We are doing a series here at 7 o'clock where we're talking to all the candidates for L.A. mayor about issues, including homelessness, which is the most important issue for each of them running. Mm -hmm. We continue that series right now with Craig Grivey, who is running for mayor of Los Angeles. He joins us live now. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, let's start with this issue of homelessness. Uh, I know it is so important to you. What's the solution? What do we do? We don't do more of the same, right? The reality is that we talk about how unprecedented a crisis this is, and it is, and how many resources we need, and we do need them, but we also need to be honest about scale. We're talking about 60,000 people in a county of 12 million. We're talking about a football stadium sized problem and we've plowed $8 billion into it and we've made it worse. The answer is not how much money we have, it's where we're spending it and how we're spending it. 14 cities in America have moved to functional zero homelessness. We can too, if we spend correctly and we model based on their solutions, right? And that's what I've put forward is a concrete plan that allows us to address our needs and get people off the streets, not in years, in months. So what does that exactly mean? So the first is a real-time database. You can't solve a problem you don't understand. It is a real-time database of who's homeless, where they are, and most importantly, what they need at any given time so that we're categorizing people by need. The annual homeless count and our intake system don't accomplish that. We need to double down on data so that we understand the problem. The second is we need a 24-7 hotline to prevent new people from becoming homeless. It is 10 times cheaper to keep people off the street than it is to get them off the street. As you rightfully point out, it's so hard living off the street. Let's keep people in their homes. Hundreds of millions of dollars in rental assistance went unused in the pandemic because the process was so arcane. I'm proposing a 24-7 hotline with immediate 24-hour response times that keeps people in their homes. And then lastly, it's those 60,000 people on the streets. We can't just house 15,000 or 20,000 or 25,000. We've got to house everybody. That means 20,000 semi-private shelter-based beds. That means 10,000 transitional supportive housing units like the tiny homes, but capped at a cost of no more than $30,000 per person, not $130,000, including services, 5,000 residential mental health beds, 500 substance abuse beds, and 12,000 shared collaborative housing units. It's that level of specificity, it's that level of detail, and that level of cost effectiveness, because all of that is proven to cost 30% less than what LA is already planning on spending, and we can still get 50% of people off the street in under nine months. Wow, you've got that all laid out there. Uh, you yourself are a proven success story. This is very personal for you, why you're so passionate about the homeless crisis, because you, Craig, as a teenager, were abandoned. So this is something that you have experienced yourself. Yeah, I mean, I know the stress that comes with this, right? I grew up incredibly poor, the type of poor where you have to forage in the forest for food. And then being abandoned, left to your own devices, having to figure out life, it's insanely difficult. No one should have to go through that. And if only I had the resources then that we could provide to people now, I know what's needed. I've, it's not, we didn't call it lived experience back then. It was just what I lived. It is what happened to me, but it's what ha should happen to no one else. And what I realized is that the combination of hard work and the blessings of others is what got me back on my feet. I didn't need a permanent handout. I didn't need complex government programs. I needed a helping hand and that's what I got. And that's what we need to give to the people of LA. It is, it is torture being in that situation, being 14 or 44, it is torture being on the edge of homelessness or homeless and impoverished. We've got to get people out of that situation. I know that firsthand. And then you would go on to be very successful at Rogers and Cowan, a big PR firm. Uh, you've never had elective office before. You're running against a lot of folks who have with big names. Uh, Karen Bass, Kevin DeLeon, Mike Fuhr, Joe Buscaino. These are people who have been serving this city for decades. They've won election after election. How do you, as basically a relatively unknown guy, beat them? I think it's a combination of what the public wants and having bold, 
fresh solutions. We know that 50% of Angelinos don't want anyone who's ever held a law office to be their mayor, according to a study that we did. And would you, I mean, if their track record of service is what they're running on to get elected, we need to look no further than our streets to see the effect of their track record of service. If Angelinos know that we can't trust the people who created our problems to be the people who solve them. And so to all those people who are unhappy with the way things look on their streets, who want something different and bold, fresh ideas from a proven problem solver, I have helped some of America's largest companies many times the size of LA solve complex and challenging problems. LA is no different in that respect. And so the path here is not name recognition, although to be fair, the vast majority of Angelinos don't know who Karen Bass or any of the other candidates are, much less their track records. The path here is focused on the ideas, concrete ideas that can move us forward, a break with the past and honesty with the public from somebody who actually cares about the people of the city. Well, um, you have some name recognition being on the special report now. How's that? How's that, Craig? And, and forgive me, I mispronounced your name off of the top of the show. So allow me, Craig Grivey, correct? <laughs> yes, and okay. I make it easy, Craig for Mayor.com. Okay, there you go. Craig, uh, thank you so much and good luck with your campaign. Thanks for being with us tonight.